The next thing we want to look at is what is radiation? Well, when we say, use the term radiation, what we're really referring to is electromagnetic radiation. And electromagnetic radiation is just electromagnetic energy that's transferred through space. We already talked a little bit about this a few minutes ago, and I mentioned that light is an example of electromagnetic energy, as are x-rays. Well, it turns out that there are a number of different types of electromagnetic radiation. So there are radio waves, microwaves, infrared, visible light, ultraviolet light, x-rays, and gamma rays. And most of these, certainly all of these things you've probably heard of, but you may have not realized that x-rays and radio waves, invisible light, all of these things are basically just different types of electromagnetic energy. And really the only thing that makes them different is how much energy these different types of radiation can carry. It turns out that gamma rays are the highest energy. And radio waves are the lowest energy. And so the way I've got these written across the bottom is in order from low energy to high energy. So one of the things you may, may have wondered is if visible light and x-rays are essentially the same thing, then why is it x-rays can go through you and visible light can't? Well, it's simply that the x-rays are higher energy. They're towards the high energy end of what we call the electromagnetic spectrum. And so x-rays have high energy. They can go through things like skin. Um, visible light has less energy, and so it can't. It just bounces off. Another uh, thing that this explains is why it is that ultraviolet light can damage your skin. We know that it, you can get a suntan from ultraviolet, but it can also damage your skin. Well, it has more energy than visible light, and so it has more ability to, to damage your skin. We now want to talk about a subset of the radiation we were just talking about, which is ionizing radiation. And radiation that has enough energy to knock an electron out of an atom is called ionizing radiation. Okay, so that process of, of radiation coming in and interacting with an atom and knocking an electron out of the atom, that process is called ionization. Okay? So here's actually the electron going away. Our radiation's coming in. And here's our radiation going out. And here's the electron going out. Okay? So ionizing radiation is radiation that can knock an electron out of orbit. Now, it turns out that not all radiation can do that. Um, X-rays are an example of radiation that can. And as you might imagine, it's only the high energy radiation that can ionize an atom. So X-ray radiation, gamma ray radiation, and ultraviolet, all of those up here at the high energy end of the spectrum all of those have the ability to ionize an atom. One of the things that we're interested in is what are the sources of ionizing radiation um, that we're exposed to. And one source of uh, ionizing radiation are medical x-rays. And obviously that's pertinent to you in this program. But it turns out that uh, man-made sources are not the largest sources of ionizing radiation that an average person is exposed to. By far the biggest source of ionizing radiation is radon. And radon is a naturally occurring radioactive gas that is found uh, underground in most areas of the United States, uh, and definitely in the Northeast where we are. So as that gas comes up, it can seep into your basement and uh, 
and that ionizing radiation can cause a higher incidence of cancer. And that's, of course, why we worry about exposure to ionizing radiation. All, all of these sources of ionizing radiation can potentially cause cancer in humans. And of course, that's why we want to limit the amount of x-ray exposure that people get. So radon is actually the biggest source. And uh, if, if you've ever gone through the home buying experience, um, one of the things that people test for when they buy a home now is radon. You can actually buy a kit um, at you know, Lowe's or Home Depot and uh, test for radon uh, where you live. Um, other natural sources, uh, they're cosmic rays. That simply means ionizing radiation that comes from space. And so obviously there's not much we can do about that. There's also other um, radioactive materials in the Earth, like uranium and uh, thorium, and they create uh, radiation as well. So that's what we mean by terrestrial. And then, uh, and then we have consumer products like smoke detectors um, use some uh, radioactive materials, and so they produce ionizing radiation. One of the interesting ones is this internal. And you might wonder, well, what is that referring to? Well, it turns out that um, elements that have radioactive isotopes, and we'll talk more about those later in the course, but uh, if, if an element is radioactive, it gives off ionizing radiation. And it turns out that some of the potassium that we just take in naturally in our food is radioactive. And so that potassium is now inside you and is part of your, uh, gets built into your body, and that's giving off ionizing radiation. So we can't avoid that. That's just part of our natural environment. 